do is we're going to think like an animal. And the first animal I would like you to think like is a kangaroo. So we're going to pretend to hold our baby kangaroos and we're going to bounce from one side to another. Sensei Bear, ah, Archie has got our teddy bear. If you have a teddy bear near you, you could hold the teddy bear and then when we do our bouncing, we can hold it. If you don't, you don't have to worry. So Archie's demonstrating perfectly. We're going to do this for 30 seconds okay. and the idea is we're warming up our legs. So lots of springing and lots of jumping. What do you say, Sensei? Oh, oh, what's happened here? Ah, everyone started. Good work, guys. Three, two, one, and kangaroo, kangaroo, kangaroo. Well, look, see how everyone's doing. Oh, my word, there's loads of jumping around. Miller and Chris, and Chris's dad's doing it. Nice. Okay, good work, Connie. Good work, Tanya. Awesome work, Hassan and Hassim. Okay, looks like Hassan's feeling much better today because he said he was feeling a bit poorly yesterday, oh, so that's, that's good. Enough. Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh. Okay, we've got... Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Time. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is the duck. So Sensei Ben may have to angle it. So you're going to get all the way down to the ground like this, and you're going to waddle, waddle. So you can either go a waddle, 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 or you can quack like a duck, whatever you fancy. But this time we're going to warm up the back of our legs and we're going to use our arms to warm up our arms. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. So either waddle, waddle or quack, quack, quack. Let's have a look at you guys. Let's see oh, how waddle, you get Oh my word, Abigail, we've got to get waddle, lower. Waddle, waddle, okay. waddle, oh, watch out, there's going to be something biting you there. Oh my word, it's a shark chasing Abigail. Get the timer it's started. It's going, it's going. Right, three, oh. two, one, go. I had, waddle, it was waddle. all in control. Okay, where's waddle, Ilias waddle. and Mariam gone? Oh. Was it that, uh, was it a, um, <laughs> <laughs> a meme? <laughs> Sorry, Ilias, you're going to sit on the sofa. Come and join in, Ilias, Connie. Ilias, 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 Come on, Connie. Ilias, 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 Show me your duck. Get her. That's it, nice Connie. Are you can see her Tanya's head popping over. Okay, you can see Abra's doing nice movements around the room. Okay, nice job, Abigail. Okay, good work, Miller. Elias and Tom. Oh, thank goodness. Well for that. Okay, so now we're going to warm up our arms and our legs again. And we're going to be crabs. So if you remember the crab position, it's your hands and your feet on the floor, but your bottom comes up. And then you can go forwards or backwards and side to side. Whatever you think crabs do. So if anyone's caught a crab before when you've been to the beach, you have to be like that crab. And then maybe click, 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 click. Okay, ready? 30 seconds. Yeah, in 10 seconds we're going to get started, team. Okay, you right, ready? Vroom, vroom, Steady. Vroom. Louise is doing the big high kicks. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so if you guys can do the same. Sure. Go! Millam's gone. Oh, there he is. Millam, you've got to be on your back. Yeah, you don't need to toy anymore. Oh, my word. Louise is Chris and Archie, look. There you go. So maybe maybe you could do that to your dad, Millam. Squish, squish Millam's dad. That's it, Abigail. Try and squ oh, no, Abigail's mum squishing her. Oh, Abigail. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Alright. Three, two, one, time. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to turn up to our tummies and we're going to do a bear crawl. So if you remember before when we've done this, you put your hands and your feet on the floor, but then you lift your knees up and as you walk, it's the opposite hand. And who knows what sort of sound the bear makes? Roar. You think it makes roar? Archie thinks roar. You know, roar. Okay. I think like grizzle. 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 Whatever noise. Okay, let's so go, team. let's go. Come on, Art. Come on, Connie. Nice work, Abigail. Ah. Uh -uh. Elias and Marianne. Awesome work. Okay. Nice Hassa, nice Hassim. <laughs> oh. well, Abigail's going super speedy. Well oh, done, Abra. Okay, you can roar as well. That's it. Remember, they, do no a, they do roar. Oh my word, we've got a sleeping bear at the moment. Ah. Connie's gone to sleep, look. Ah, time. Okay. Did 
you get squished hand? Right? I get squished hand. Okay, oh. so the final one we're going to do in this round is a penguin. In fact, ignore that final bit. So who knows how a penguin moves? Can you guys show me how you think a penguin moves? And I'll show you what I think a penguin does. So everyone's going to be on their feet. Come on, Milam. Stop attacking your dad. Sorry, Mum. Okay. Alright, okay. Show me how penguins move, guys. Oh, nice, Connie. Oh, nice. yes. Nice, have some. Have some, have some. So nice, I think they have their nice, hands Ilias. down here. And they sort of... Feet together kind of thing, right? Yeah. Feet together. So imagine your legs are tied together and you sort of... Yeah. Oh, my Brilliant, word. There was, guys. There was a flash of Millum. He just ran... Oh, there he goes again. There he goes again. <laughs> Come on, Millum. So we're going to do this for 30 oh, seconds. Oh, there he is again. So you ready, Sensei? Uh, yeah. Okay, 15 seconds we're going to get going. So it's tough watching everyone and also okay. check, checking the time out. Sorry. All right, Sorry. okay. Ilias looks ready. Mayam looks ready. All right, time's going in. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, my word, Louise got a shoulder shrug too. Okay, nice. Okay, come on, guys. Let's see. Ah! Milam's yeah. dad's doing a fabulous ah! job. Milam, come on. Ah! Oh, my word, that's really scorchy. Nice work, Abra. Good work, Abigail. Maybe like this. Okay, Tanya's doing like a up Archie's and down. -y, like like she's like a soldier marching. Okay, patrolling. Archie's swimming in the sea like Asa. a Okay, I can't even see Archie. Oh, there he is. It's kind of okay. Ilias, is, where's it? I'm Miss Mariam. Okay, Abigail's back. Oh, this one's Okay, cool, yeah. Connie's laid down on the, on the sofa. Um, okay, bye. time. Okay. The reason why I said that wasn't quite the last one is this is Archie's favourite. And what you guys can do is, if you also have a favourite, you can ask for an animal that might be your favourite. Mine is probably the scorpion as well as the flamingo, but Archie's is the cheetah. Yay. So I'm going to let Archie demonstrate the cheetah to you. And basically you crouch down and you use your hands to propel yourself forward and you sort of jump. Okay? And who knows what noises cheetahs make? They make a really weird little high hey! squeaky thing. Archie thinks it's that noise, yeah. but I like to think they sort of meow. No, it's, it's a funny noise. It's, it's a, like a right. half roar, half roar. It's, like uh, it's a weird little uh, like a yelp. Yeah, is it, it cheetahs that are actually nocturnal? Uh, no, but they're super fast. They're like they are the fastest fast. moving mammal. Yes, okay. that's right. So who can show me their beautiful cheetah? Maybe you know some interesting facts about an animal. Come on then, Arch. 30 right. seconds, Sensei. Yeah. Oh, look, I can see some people are brilliant cheetahs. Right, okay, 10 seconds, team. Right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Cheetah, and then when they pop up, they're gonna. Like, I'm just gonna be a quiet cheetah. Okay, now they check out what else is doing around here. Awesome work. Okay, oh my word, I think Connie's dog's a bit scared. Oh my word, we've got a meow cat now, not a cheetah. I thought cheetahs were people that didn't like playing games. Two more cheetahs. Right, keep going, team. Keep going. Oh my word, Abigail's doing a super high jump and time. Okay. Okay, so we're going to revisit our fighting stance today, guys. So I want everybody to go into a fighting stance for me, so we can see it. And Archie's going to demonstrate a perfect fighting stance. As you can see here, if Ben um, goes down a little bit, his front leg is bent. I always try and start with my left leg in front. Okay, so if you can take your left leg in front, that would be amazing. Okay, and your back leg is straight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remember the kick we've done before called a roundhouse kick. Okay, so we're going to do this roundhouse as a warm up and then we're going to go and look at the fighting starts in more detail. So the roundhouse kick looked like this, so the kick. The leg came out to the side and then came forward. Okay, and then put your foot back down to the fighting stance. So you'll be kicking with your right leg first, which is why we start with our left leg in front, okay? So if everyone goes into that fighting stance and practices that roundhouse kick, Archie and I will continue and Sensei Ben's going to watch. Okay, we'll do it to okay. a count of ten. Yep. Yeah. So I'll count ten, we can all do it together. So, uh, uh, yeah, but you've got plenty of room, so you don't want to kick anyone. So everybody go into the left leg fighting starts. Hands up if you can manage it. 
And we're going to do Let's 10 kicks. Right, Tanya. Off. Sorry, Tanya. Can you switch your feet for me? So you're going to put your left leg in. So kick, always kick with the back leg. Okay. Uh, Millum. Let's have a look at you, Millum. Millum, 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 Millum. Millum. I'm going to put you on big screen, Millum. Look at this, big screen. Look, there you are. You're in the middle now. Okay. So, Millum, you need to be standing nice and still. Okay. Are you oh, ready, Millum? Can you ready, show Millum? me your kick? So, oh, oh, I love exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. So, let's do 10 to Millum's time. So, ready? Okay, you're right, Millum. I'll count One. them out. Ready? Go on, Evan. One. Come in, Millum. Let's see these kicks. Two. Three. Not too fast, Millum. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nice job, Millum. Okay, Abigail, I'm going to go to you now because you did a great job on those kicks. So Let's do the other leg now, Abigail. So we're going to put the other leg we're in We're going to switch in our legs and we're going to put our right leg in front and our left leg behind. And we're going to do ten kicks off the left leg. So is everyone ready? One. Okay, all right, Louise, count this so I can check. Two. Three. That's it, good. Uh, uh, four. Go. So keep your hands up for me, Elias. Five. Now spin around, now spinning around, We're trying to bring a leg up. Six. Nice, has seven and half serve. Good work. Seven. Excellent work, Connie. Good girl. Eight. Better. That's much better, man. Nine. Well done. Abra, try and stay on your feet. And ten. Try and stay Woo! on your feet, Abra. Good work, everyone. Okay, what I want everyone to do is grab a quick drink, and then when you come back, Archie and I will show you the drill. So, the drill we're going to do is the sticky hand drill. Archie. So the reason I've chosen this one to do today is because I want you to practice those fighting stances. So parents, what we want to do is we want our children to put their right leg forward and you put their your right leg forward. You then place your right hand up and they put their right hand up. We've played this game before and the idea is, is that you have to use their body weight to see if they've got good stability. Okay? So it's just a small game. We do it from our right side, then we do it from our left side. Sensei Ben will come around and make sure everyone's got it right. And then we will immediately go to a shoulder touch game, also using the fighting stance. So just have a couple of moments to practice the sticky hand drill. Okay, right, everyone stand up for me. Okay, so I'm going to go around and check. So if you're not too sure, you can always look at Louise and Archie. Okay, the idea is not to use strength, but use sensitivity. This is what we call a sensitivity drill. So you want you both have the right leg in front, that's it, Tanya. Okay. Right, uh, have Sir and have Sim. Okay, looks like you're kind of doing a nice dance, but really, okay, we're going to try and use our balance. Yes, I know you have Sim, right? So, put one, put your right leg in front and use your right hand, and if you mirror each other, then that's the best way to do it. Okay, nice work, Abigail. Good work, Abra. Nice, okay. So, the idea is, is that just with your hands back to back, you can feel how your partner's moving. Mm. Now, for us, knowing when someone's on balance or off balance is really important. That's it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I think everyone's got that. Perfect. Really good job on okay, that. so we're going to continue with that fighting stance, but we're going to use it to do a shoulder and belt touch. So, Archie and I are facing each other again in a shallow. Uh, you got your left leg in front. Left leg fighting stance. So I dart across him and try and touch his belt or his shoulder and then I've scored a point and he has to do a burpee. So it really is like a way of kind of shoring up those fighting stances. Okay, so continue with that drill. So we're trying to touch either the shoulder or the belt. Do I'm going to use a timer, yeah, off? and we'll have a 30, 20 second rest. Okay, so we'll do it for 30 seconds. Okay, so in 30 seconds. See how many times you can get each other in 30 seconds. And I wonder how many of you can remember those blocks that we looked at. Yeah. Right, go, go guys, that's it. Try and get those shoulders. I'm going to go around and check, see how we're looking. Okay, uh, Millum, oh no, Millum. Just got to touch him on the shoulder, not try and wrestle him to the floor. That's it, go on Tanya, try and get your sister. That's it, nice, that's him. <laughs> okay, Hassel, you taking it in terms of your mum. That's it, Elias and Mary, I can't see you, but it looks like you're doing a good job. Abigail, well done, keep your hands up and time. Perfect. Okay, centre. 
So actually this is a really good place to remind them about the clapping drill that we did last week as well. Oh, what, when we laid down? No, oh. no, the clapping one like this. Oh yes, the high five. So we are going to return to that shoulder and belt thing, but we're going to just remember the blocking drill that we did. So what we did was we did clap and then clap. Do you remember this? Where well, we were practicing that high block and then we looked at high clap, low clap. This is really tricky actually. So tricky. So we're going to think about um, the age and the ability of our child and either do just the high clap or high clap, low clap, high clap, low clap, high clap, low clap. And it's a way to get your children to remember the high block and the low block that we look at in the class. So high clap, low clap, or just high clap, high clap. So we're going to do 30 seconds of that and then we're going to return to the shoulder and belt um, technique. Okay, right, so in 15 seconds, get yourself started. So we'll start Obviously mums and dads, you, dad, you might just get, need to get on your knees. Okay, Abra, you might need to get a growing up to help you. That's it, thank you growing up. Okay, all right, three, two, one. So just do the high fives to begin with because that's quite tricky. And if you think you've nailed that, then you go high five and then low five. Okay, it's actually quite hard. Nice work. Slower. Good work, Tanya. Good, that's it. Try, try and use your other hand as well, Tanya. As long as you've got it off one hand, try and do it off the other. the other. That's it, good girl. And then you do one either side. That's it. <coughs> good work, Milan. <laughs> yeah, this is really tricky, Abigail, isn't it? So really concentrate on your mum and time. Okay, so as you can see, by doing that, it gets your children used to using their arms. So now when we go back to the shoulder and belt <coughs> tag, maybe they will, if they try and use the blocks, it will help to um, speed that up a little bit. So the shoulder and belt tagging for 30 seconds. Let's go. go. Right, same thing, so you can use your blocks now. Use your high fives and the low fives. Come on, Tanya, you've disappeared. Have we get Tanya? Yeah, good girl, well done. Okay, Ilias, where have you gone? Come on, Ilias. That's it. Okay, that's it. Just try and tag each other. Half so and half seem seem to have um, run out of steam. Okay, come on, guys, off those pillows and cushions. Come and show me what you've been doing. One half so and half sim. Come and show me what you've been doing. That's it. A nice work, Abigail. Good work, Milam. And time. Oh, good work, Thanks, guys. Connie, Dad. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. What a great lesson. So, we are going to do a little bit of yoga to finish off with, okay? So, I don't know whether we've done Salute to the Sun. Have we done Salute to the Sun with this no, group? No, not with this group. Okay, so we're going to do Salute to the Sun. So, if you've done it before, excellent. But if you haven't, um, Archie's going to go side to side and I'm going to go forward to backwards and hopefully you'll be able to see what we're doing so you might need to just angle it down. Of course, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to stand where you can see me and you're going to make sure you have space around you and plenty of space behind. So take a big breath in and raise your arms to the ceiling and see if you can stretch your body up and touch the ceiling. Let's test out our balance and go on to our toes. Who has got excellent balance? Good work, guys. You guys look incredible. Okay, heels to the floor, and let's do that forward fold and touch our toes. Try and keep your legs straight if you can. Okay, if you can't, you can bend your knees ever so slightly. So if you look at Archie, he's bending his knees a little bit so he can touch his toes. Okay, step one leg back into a big lunge. So everyone's doing this front leg is bent and the back leg is straight. It's like you're going to start a race. Running yeah, race. like a running race. And now everyone make a triangle with their bodies. I'll move to the side so you can see me. Triangle. So what Louise is doing is something called a downward dog in yoga. Okay, let's have a little look. Remember mums and dads, once you've got your children sorted, you, you can have a go at this too. Because it's good to work on your flexibility. Nice. Well Coming done. into a plank position. Well done, guys. Everyone into a plank. So that means you're going to try and make yourself as straight as you can. So again, if you look at Louise. Like a stick. That's it, yes. Come on then, Elias. Okay, okay let's go down to the floor now. And then push our hands into the ground and stretch our tummy muscles. Is this one called Cobra? So it's like, yeah. a, like a snake looking up, looking around. Well done. You can do a little sis. Yes, nice Abra. 
Okay, back into that downward dog, that triangle. So you're going to go back to that funny position before. Okay, that's it. So you should feel it in your legs, actually. Okay. Bend your right leg and bring it back forward into a lunge. You're going back to your like, race starting position. Perfect. And then step the other leg up, except this time, let's go into Hindi squat. So both legs up. Bending at the knee, perfect guys, and bring your hands on the inside. Wonderful, I love this position. Okay, so remember yesterday I said that we're going to start looking at crow pose. Now I want to see how many of you were able to get that. So I'm going to come forward a little bit and move to the side and so see I'm if you for guys Connie can. Connie at the moment, where's Connie snuck off to? So place your hands onto the floor and lean forward and see if you can balance pushing your elbows into your knees. I think I saw a Connie just then. Oh yeah, I see a foot wiggling around. Come on, Connie. <laughs> Look at what Louise is doing and see if you can do the same, Connie. So. Good work. I think that's uh, Tanya's sister. This is a wonderful picture for any parent. Oh, well done. I think everyone's got yeah, it. Yeah, we all need it there. That's it, Hassim. Hafsa, how are you doing? Wonderful, I, I guys. That's it. That's it. Well done, Ilias. Well done, Marianne. Do you want to do it for me, Arch? Okay, right. Mm, awesome mm, work. Well, did you try, Connie? I didn't see you. Can you show me I'm again, Connie? There, so I can't really... Oh, Tanya, we're on the move. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, come on Connie, show me you quickly. That's it. Thank you, Tanya's sister. Awesome. Perfect, that's... We're pretty much there, We team. are there. Good work. That went so quickly. Right, so going back to the riddle, okay. So the riddle was, okay, which three letters... Uh, say it again. Which three letters can frighten a thief away? Which three letters can frighten a thief away? Let's see if any mums and dads... Okay, can write them in the chat. Okay, let's see. Or unless you know the answer, give me a wave, and I'll get you to say it out loud. Okay. Say it again. Okay. Which three letters can frighten a thief away? So if you think you know the answer, give me a wave. Okay, and then I'll get you to shout it out. Okay. Anyone got the answer? No. Which three letters? Abra's got his hand up. Okay, let's go see Abra. Right, Abra, what's the answer, Abra? I see you. <gasps> yes, that's well, right, I see you. Well I see you, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I thought you said you could see me, but actually You're that's so the answer. smart. Well, well done. done, Abra. Okay, so the answer is, which I'm three thinking. letters? What did he say? <laughs> what did you say, Abra? God. Okay, not to worry, Abra. Thank you. Well okay. done. Well done, Abra. That's really good. That's very quick. Okay. Did anyone else manage to get it? Did anyone else manage to get three letters? It was really That's tricky. It was a tricky one, that one, wasn't it? I thought it? it was tricky. Yeah. What is it? Okay. I see you. I see you. Which three mm. letters frighten a thief away? I see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, guys. Um, we're out, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. I want to say a huge thank you for joining in on this lovely sunny day. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.